Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mark Rochelle and thank you for clicking on my video. So for today's video, I was honestly sitting here thinking to myself, now what am I gonna film? What would they wanna see? So I thought, you know what? It's time, let's pull something out. Let's see what we got going on. So today we're gonna be trying the Ulta Beauty Detoxifying Charcoal Mask. Now, I don't know if you guys knew of these, but I definitely didn't. I picked this up a little while ago and I honestly forgot I had it underneath the sink. <laughs> um, but I didn't even know that Ulta Beauty, the brand, their own skincare brand, I know that they had makeup, but I did not know that they had skincare, which I think is super awesome. Um, and you guys know I love a good mask, especially a charcoal one, so I'm really excited to get to try this today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video and get started. So basically it lists like your concern and that's how you should pick masks. I know they have a couple different ones of these and I'll go ahead and list them in the bottom bar down below along with the price and everything. Um, but this one says, you're gonna, it says oily, acne prone skin and congested pores. Now for me, I don't necessarily have oily skin. I wouldn't say I have acne prone skin per se, but I definitely get a lot of congested pores in my nose area as well as my chin. I know that sounds really weird, but I definitely do. So I'm excited to try this out. And it basically says it deeply cleanses and purifies pores for a clear, healthy looking complexion. It has activated charcoal, which helps draw out dirt and impurities. It has kaolin clay, kaolin. Um, it helps absorb oil and mattify the skin. And it has menthol, which helps calm and cool the skin. So I'm a little concerned about absorbing the oil and mattifying my skin because my skin's already a little dry, but I'm willing to try it and give it a shot, so let's see what um, And I did want to quickly mention as well, I've already like hopped in the shower and cleansed my face, so we start with a clean palette for this mask. And then next up, whenever I'm using any type of mask, I always like to exfoliate my skin really well first. All of the good ingredients and components of the mask can really get into my pores and get into the skin and clear everything out or do what the mask is intended to do. Um, so for an exfoliator today, I use the Yes To Grapefruit Correct and Repair Daily Facial Scrub. Now for this mask, it says cleanse skin before use, done. Apply mask evenly over skin, avoiding the eye and mouth areas. Allow to dry for up to 15 minutes, then rinse thoroughly with warm water. Use up to two times per week or as needed. So that's kind of cool. You can use it more than once a week. And just wanted to mention as well, this is free of parabens, sulfates, mineral oil. It's gluten free and it's not tested on animals. So it's really awesome. Comes out, looks a little something like this, like a typical charcoal mask would. Oh wow. It's a very thick consistency. I mean, I know I grabbed a lot, but even still, it's very, very thick, which I don't mind whatsoever. I actually really like that. And I'm really gonna target the places, like I said, that I do get the most pores. So that's primarily my nose and my chin, but it does happen on my cheeks pretty often as well. I get very porous skin. pretty cooling honestly it feels pretty good it doesn't have really like a strong charcoal scent to it which I appreciate because charcoal can be like really really abrasive and just kind of like whew, in your face so I kind of like that I was gonna keep it just on you know my problem areas but why not do the forehead too right why not I will say there's quite a bit of product in this package which is awesome Definitely makes me feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Um, but so far, so good. My face feels pretty good. I don't feel any burning or anything like that, so we're off to a good start. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hang out for a bit, probably surf through Instagram, maybe watch a YouTube tutorial for the full 15 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and come right back. Also, just wanted to quickly throw this in there really quick, kind of as like a little mini life update I wanted to share with you guys and hopefully inspire some of you. For the past basically three three to four weeks I've been like working out consistently, going to the gym, facing my fears and like using free weights with all the big like bros, using the squat rack and stuff and I've been having a really fun time with it. I've noticed little changes in my body already. I never really told you guys like what my New Year's resolutions were or anything like that. Typically I'm not a person that really would do New Year's resolutions. Before the New Year I was just feeling very sluggish and kind of uninspired and I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I just wasn't really taking care of myself and focusing on my health like I should be. We only get one body and one lifetime to make that body the best that it can be, not only externally but internally as well. So starting January 1st, 
I told myself, okay, I'm gonna work out, gain some muscle, gain some weight because most of my life I've been pretty much underweight and I haven't always been super happy with my body. So I wanted to eat a lot healthier. I didn't want to eat fast food. I just quickly wanted to share a couple like achievements so far with this new journey that I've been on. And hopefully down in the comments below, you guys will be willing to share some of yours with me, even if it's not fitness related, if it's like education related, some New Year's resolutions. I'd love to hear what they are and hear your, how you guys are doing with them. Like let's try and encourage each other in the comments down below. Anyway, a couple achievements for me so far. Since January 1st, I have not had any of the yucky fast food and now let me explain that what i mean by that is like uh, mcdonald's wendy's arby's taco bell i have not had any of that food for almost three months yeah for three three months now which is so cool because seriously like wendy's <laughs> i love me some wendy's i love me some mcdonald's fries and i thought i was really gonna struggle with it but i am just so impressed with how good my body feels and how much energy I have. I'll tell you, I occasionally do the whole Chick-fil-A or the noodles and companies. Like those ones were not going away, but occasionally, but not near as much as I used to. So I'm really proud of that so far. Um, soda, I really only drink soda if, you know, we go out to a restaurant or somewhere like that. I've been consistently going to the gym about four to five days a week for the last three weeks now, which I'm super proud of. And I've also been taking a multivitamin and a probiotic every day for that good inner health. So anyways, guys, that's not meant to brag or anything like that. It's really meant to encourage you that I'm basically starting from zero with my fitness and my health journey. And I'm feeling so motivated and so encouraged. And I just want that to be kind of passed on to you guys as well, whatever it may be. Even like I said, if it's not fitness or health or whatever, I encourage you to comment down below what your resolution is, how you're doing with it. Are you achieving it? What are you struggling with? I just want to encourage you guys to, to stick with those resolutions, stick with those goals that you have because you can do it. And yes, I know I look like a crazy person just talking to you with this mask on, but I just thought I would share that with you guys because I'm really proud of myself and I'm proud of you with whatever point you are in with your resolution or your goal and just know that you can do it and I believe in you. And now that we're done with the sappiness for a second, I'm going to go ahead and hop on Instagram, hop on YouTube for a little bit and we'll wait for this to dry. Alrighty guys, so it's been about 20-ish minutes now, a little over 20 minutes. Um, it took a little bit longer than the 15 minutes that the package said um, to dry completely. I'm gonna go ahead and wash off this mask really quick and then I will be right back to give you my so final first thought. And I'm sure you guys can see and you're recognizing it, my skin is super, super red. Um, pretty much everywhere that I put the mask, especially on my forehead, like let me zoom you in a little bit. Where the mask was and where it wasn't. Um, my skin is super red, but I will say, so yeah, my pores are definitely not like as apparent and not as big as they were before. And I feel like it definitely on my nose pulled out some of the yucky like gunk that was in there. My skin is not like hot or anything. It's just a little bit red, but this has happened to me before when I've used charcoal. Um, so I'm not super concerned. Of course, if this is like still red tomorrow, I will be concerned and I'll definitely let you guys know if it is. I will go ahead and say I like this mask as long as the redness goes down. You can't really beat it for the price and I would, and I do think I would recommend it barring any complications with the redness tomorrow, if that makes sense. Alrighty guys, and that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you leave if you did like the video. And also please don't forget to comment down below and let me know what your new year's resolution was, what your goals were for the new year and how you're doing with them. Are you achieving them? What are you struggling with? I'd love to hear from you guys and let's go ahead and try and encourage each other in the comment section down below. And other than that, again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs> Consider <laughs> two cucumbers um calming micellar cleanser calm